Thank you for having me here. It's, it's indeed an honor, my honor. I'm looking across the crowd and I'm seeing quite a few veterans of many, many wars, many, many battles. And it's inspiring for me, uh, who was probably riding a skateboard or drawing pictures when all of you were, were dodging bullets and, and perhaps in some cases um, uh, wounded in, in, in the infirmary. So uh, it truly is an honor of mine to come speak with you today and pay it back a little bit. So uh, with that, thank you very much. <coughs> Mayor DeDean, distinguished members of the Imperial Beach community, and to all our veterans who continue to embody exceptional examples of loyalty, duty, and honor. Thank you for the humbling introduction, and I am honored by the invitation to speak with you today. For those of you seeking an example of living legends, look no further than the American Legion, or your local BFW, or the Disabled Americans Veterans Organizations. These courageous men and women have provided tireless support to the warfighter of today and the veteran of tomorrow. You'll see neither self-promotion nor, self, nor excessive self-aggrandation with these folks. No, you'll find in them these unpublished and unpraised heroes of our past. The personification of what it means to commit yourself to a purpose far greater than anyone can fathom. These organizations were the forebearers of the modern day Wounded Warrior Project, the Fallen Heroes Fund, and so many other altruistic groups that have been established in the wake of a country at war for the better part of the last 14 years. At this point, I was going to ask many of our veterans to stand up, and if they couldn't stand up, to raise your hand. But I can tell the overwhelming majority of our, of our audience here is veterans. So I'd like to pause right now and give them a round of applause and appreciation.